All right, so this is an old key, and you can tell because it doesn't, the spring has gone out in it. Um, it does not want to stay closed anymore. So I bought this off eBay for $20. Uh, it's a new remote, it matches. Uh, when I first got it, it was not cut. I went to a locksmith and paid $60 to have this cut. So far, I've got $80 just an investment. The current problem is while this will unlock the doors using the teeth, it will have programmed it so that these buttons all work through the wireless transmitter. The problem is that this key has a chip inside of it. And when you put this key in the ignition, what happens is the ignition will start and then stop. It's almost like you're out of gas. It's the weirdest thing ever. Um, so the problem is the car, the vehicle, does not recognize the chip inside here as a registered key. So even though I can unlock the doors here and unlock the door with the teeth, the key has not been programmed. The remote, which is this part of it, has been programmed. So what we're gonna do is we are going to use this device that I also purchased off the internet for about $38. So that brings my total to about $118. So this device plugs into the uh, bottom of the car where you normally get your inspections or you know your insurance monitoring or one, I think, one of those types of things. As you can see here, there's a light, probably a reset button, and then there's a switch left and right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out to the car with this device, we're gonna activate, um, activate it using a working key that has a chip that has been programmed into the key part, not the remote. We're gonna talk about the key, uh, the keys chip. And then we're gonna tell it the car using this device to accept the information from this key. All right, let's see how long this takes. So, um, after many successful, unsuccessful attempts, make sure you have all your keys. Um, I made the mistake of adding the green key, like we talked about, only to discover that I'd actually deactivated these two keys. Um, the wife let me know about this one, of course. Um, make sure you find your valet key. You're never going to do this process again. Make sure you do it right the first time. You need all four keys, or, or three keys, how many keys you have to do this process because you're essentially reprogramming the car for all of your keys. And any key not present will no longer work. It will no longer start your car. All right, so we have our working gold key and we're gonna stick that in here and go to position number two. And we know it's a working key because there is no green key. So we're gonna leave it in position two and then we're going to take our programmer and we're going to plug it in. So there's a couple different beeps. The long beeps mean registration has begun or ended. Um, a single beep means turn the engine off. So we hear the single beep. A double beep, a beep beep means change the key. So we're in position two here and you can hear the beeps. So we're going to turn it off. Double beep, triple beep, turn it on, wait. There's a long beep coming. Long beep. That means registration has begun. Single beep. That means turn it off. Double beep. That means change it. We're pulling the gold key out, putting the valet key in. We're going to position number two. We're listening. Single beeps, that means turn it off. Double beeps or triple beeps, that means take it out. We're putting in the wife's pink key. Going to position number two. You can hear beeps, single beeps. What do single beeps mean? They mean turn it off. So we're gonna turn the key off. Triple beeps. That means take the key out. And this is our last key, the green key. Again, position two, single beeps. Okay, that means turn it off. Turn it off. Triple beeps, double beeps. Turn it back on, this is the last key. 
And now we have to wait 20 seconds. Do not remove the key. Leave it in the on position. This is the last key. So we're waiting for that long beep, which means the registration has ended. There it is. All right. So now we can take the key out. You'll notice it still says on the dashboard, it's blinking green. We're gonna take the green key out. We got the pink key. We got the gray key and we got the gold key. So those are our four keys. We are going to remove the pink device or blue device. Then we are to me colors. Then we're going to start with our, our the key that started it all, the key that still works, right? We're going to stick that in. No green key. Oh, wait. No green key. Starts the engine. No green key. The gold key works. It's just that one's a success. We'll put it in the success cup holder. Our green key. I'm going to turn that one on and look at the dash. That one is a success, a green key. We'll put that one in the successful cup holder, the wife's pink key. Put that one in, turn it on, no green key on the dash. That's a success. All right, we got three keys down. And last but not least, our valet key. Can't forget the valet key even though we never use it. Got to make sure. Put that in there, no green key. The valet key still works too. So we have successfully programmed all four keys to work with the Acura slash Honda. I think this is a success. So just as a final uh, kind of uh, follow up here on after we've reprogrammed it, I wanted to just make sure that something was very clear. The um, I want to make sure one. I want to make sure something was very clear with regards to these keys. Um, so this is the original key. This is the uh, new key that I got off eBay for twenty bucks with the remote in it. There's three things that you have to do with this particular type of key. Um, this is the remote. This is the key. It's all one thing, but it requires three things that you have to do. The first thing that you will have to do is go get it cut. Call your locksmith and find out how much they will charge you to cut a key before you buy it on eBay. Second thing, you have to program the chip that goes with the key has nothing to do with the remote. So that the ignition key will recognize this key and start it. Just because you copied the teeth does not mean that it will start. The third and last thing is to program this remote. I'm not going to cover that in this video because that's not what this video is about. There are other videos already on the internet well documenting how to program the remote to a uh, to the car. So I'm not going to cover that here. So just to follow up, $20 for the key. It cost me $60 to get it cut at a local uh, locksmith. Maybe you can find a better deal. This little blue device allowed me to tell the car to accept this key uh, and it was about $40. Now, this came off eBay. It showed up in about two weeks. This came off of a website. I'm not gonna list the website um, because this isn't endorsed by them or anything. There are many places you can find this device. It is called the Easy Key Maker um, and I'll put that in the description. Um, you can do your own research and buy from somebody. It took a while for this to show up. Um, based on where I bought it from, which I thought was the best option. Uh, but it took weeks, like eight to 10 weeks, I believe, for this to show up. So most of this stuff comes out of China. Uh, yeah, so that's it.